Hello Internet and welcome to this tutorial series on Shopify Hydrogen SEO. In this particular video, we're going to learn how to add the canonical tag to our uh, on-site SEO. As you see here, when we do the analysis using our browser extension, we see that the canonical is still missing on the collections page, on the products page, as you can see here, and in the search page as well. So what is a canonical tag, first of all? Well, let's say you have two versions of a two, like this, this two URLs on your, on your website that more or less have the same content, okay? Most of the time you want, you have a preferred version of that URL. I think a, 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 a fantastic example of that is for the product page. You see here, whenever we switch the variant, okay? The URL changes, okay? You see that the URL change. So, well, for this particular product, if, 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 if someone searches online, women's crew neck, which of these URL do you want Google to display as your preferred URL? That's a, a, a classic example of where the canonical tag comes into play, right? And in this video, we're going to learn how to add that. Obviously, in this particular case, and, and usually it depends on your strategy. Sometimes you want the specific variant to have uh, its own to be to to be displayed when when the when the user searches. So if the user searches for uh, purple women's crew neck, you may want that to be. Um, the version displayed in the in the search engines but most of the time for most e-commerce store owners the variant they don't want the variant to, to be displayed they want the product itself and in that case this part here is what is considered the canonical so this is the url that's going to be displayed in the search engine uh serbs so let's see how to do that so let's jump in vs code and as usual we're going to start with the collections page first so how do we add a canonical here well not to add a canonical is very simple we're going to add it to our meta uh, here so all we have to do is to add the tag name and then add link okay and then rel canonical canonical and then href oops here is a column it's a comma, sorry. Hrefs, you're gonna put the link to our domain HTTPS dot, uh, I guess, our website, website.com. And then the path, okay? So where do we get this information from? Because if we come here, the collections page, and we look at this here, obviously we see that here, but this is not good. And this thing is complaining is saying this page has a canonical tag that does not match the current URL search engines are more likely to promote the canonical URL note there are some exceptions here which can get complicated such as whether the canonical is correct whether it redirects and so on okay so here it's basically telling us that search engines tend to prefer when the page you're visiting and the canonical are the same and obviously it's telling us as well that there are some exceptions but obviously you don't want to hard code this uh like that because you don't know uh everywhere uh where the url comes from but we remember our meta uh here our meta function gets everything from the loader so from the loader we can pass the canonical url as well so let's get let's let's let's, let's do that then here in order to return that we need the canonical on top in addition to the collection so before returning here we can have oops sorry one sec we can have const.canonical nickel euro like this equals to the request that was sent oops request dot euro okay and in this case this is perfectly fine we just return the canonical euro like this from here okay and all of a sudden we now have access to it here okay so if we do data 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 dot canonical url and then we see come here reload bingo it's now there all right so that's how you add a canonical to the collections page let's do exactly the same for the uh, products page okay so let's come here in the products page in the meta Let's add this here. Obviously, it's going to complain. And then here, it's complaining because the data can be a null object. So 
canonical obviously here it's not defined so let's come in the loader here just before we return let's create canonical URL like this request dot URL okay and let's return the canonical from here like this if you go back here and we look at the products page what's going on there you see and this is if you want all right if you want the um, the, uh, the the each individual variant to have the canonical or for that particular variant right so that's that is if you want that to be the case but most of the time like i said earlier you don't you don't want that at all so what we're going to do instead is um split right there's a better there's a there's an actual way to pass this but just for the sake of time i'm just gonna do it like this and then i'm gonna get to position zero right so i split it by the, the question mark and i get the first chunk okay so it's gonna give us the other bit here you see now it's not self referencing anymore but that's one of the exceptions when uh sometimes you you, you want the url the canonical to not be exactly the same to, to not be a self-referencing canonical you're basically telling google that okay i always want the version of my url when you're displaying the serve to be the clean url without the parameters added to it and finally let's do the same for the search page okay for the search page basically um that is if you're indexing the page okay if you're indexing the search page you want to do exactly the same like we're doing here so let's come here and do the same so let me come here like that then grab this thing here so i don't have to type that again then here like this uh comma then tag brilliant and then in the loader i have to return the canonical as well all right so let's do that here const canonical url equals to the request request oops url all right and then we return this as well like this search results and then bingo we have now canonicals as well here so basically that's it friends it's very simple make remix or shopify hydrogen makes it very simple to add canonicals to your routes and that's how you do it i hope you found this useful and if you did please give this video a thumbs up that's very appreciated and uh, subscribe to the channel and i look forward to seeing you in the next one cheers bye bye